The objectives of today's talk is to identify characteristics associated with dental hypersensitivity and to be able to discuss why the presence of pain exists with this hypersensitivity. Have you ever had a cold drink and the next thing that you know is that you feel a sharp pain where the cold fluid touched the tooth? Or maybe you even felt pain as you were brushing your teeth. This common type of pain is often the result of something called dental hypersensitivity. Dental hypersensitivity refers to a short, sharp, painful reaction that occurs when areas of uncovered dentin are exposed to some sort of stimuli. Yes, the cold fluid and toothbrush are examples of things that can elicit the pain. There are other things that can create this short, sharp pain associated with dental hypersensitivity. Eating utensils and even your dental instruments as you explore or clean a patient's teeth can elicit the pain associated with this hypersensitivity. Some of you may be even asking yourself, what does exposed dentin look like in a patient? Here is a case where the dentin is exposed. In this case, the patient has worn away their enamel through attrition. Attrition is a normal process of using your teeth over the years, but as you know, several other factors can come into play. In most cases of dental hypersensitivity, the loss of tooth structure is here at the cervical aspect of the tooth. It's also very common to see gingival recession on the involved tooth. Here's another case where the patient has gingival recession along with the loss of tooth structure or cementum on the outside of the root. Although the loss of cementum doesn't appear to be a lot, many of these cases are actually the most sensitive. Let's take a look at one more clinical case. In this patient, there is a recession and a loss of tooth structure on several teeth. Tooth numbers 11, 12, and 13. It's pretty common to see the recession and cervical abrasion on multiple teeth that are next to one another. Okay, so maybe now you're asking yourself, how does the dentin eventually become exposed? One of the more common reasons as to why the dentin becomes exposed revolves around tooth brushing. Improper brushing, like using a scrubbing or back and forth motion, is a common cause for the loss of tooth structure in the cervical area. Using a hard toothbrush or even abrasive substances when you brush your teeth can also cause the removal of the tooth structure. Now maybe you're even asking yourself, why would the patient experience pain? To talk about the reason why pain is felt in this hypersensitivity, we need to return you to early tooth anatomy. I know that you remember the dentin in the root is covered by a thin layer of cementum. So let's focus on the structure of dentin since this is what is associated with the patient's pain. Let's do a little drawing to refresh your memory on the structure of dentin. Looking at an enlargement of the dentin, you will remember that the dentin is made up of thousands of tubules. These tubules are like hollow straws and run from the pulp to the outside of the tooth. I'm just drawing a few of the tubules to give you an idea what they look like and the direction they run. The cementum covers the outside aspect of the dentin and keeps the ends of the dentin sealed or closed. By doing this, it blocks any type of transmission done into the tubule. By having the cementum cover the dentin, the tubules are sealed and this prevents any fluids or changes in pressure to be radiated towards the pulp. If cementum is removed, let's say from using an abrasive substance or scrubbing with an improper technique while brushing your teeth, the tubules are now open and results in patient sensitivity. Reviewing what we covered today, we looked at dental hypersensitivity and one of the most common causes for this sensitivity. We also looked at how it presents clinically in a patient 
and why the patient experiences pain. In our next discussion, we'll take a look at the management of dental hypersensitivity and focus on the use and clinical application of Gluma.